In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Today we call to mind one of the saddest days in the history of the United States of America. We call to mind in 1973, January 22nd, in which the Supreme Court, in the decision Roe versus Wade, legalized abortion, which is the killing of innocent babies from the very beginning until the end of the pregnancy. So already 46 years have passed and many abortions have been procured Surgical abortions, it's hard to calculate, but probably close to 62 to 63 million surgical abortions have been perpetrated in these less than 50 years. So I have these two statues, one Mary having the little baby Jesus in her arms, and here's the little child Jesus with the heart in his hand. The patients of the United States today invite all of us to do something, especially two things. <clears throat> it's easier for you to remember are the two Ps, prayer and penance. Prayer and penance. To most especially repair for the many abortions that have been carried out by women, men, doctors, nurses, political figures, institutions. So we have to offer a due prayer of reparation for these many, many murders that have been carried out. It's incumbent upon us to do something so prayer and penance. Let's talk a little bit about prayer. Every prayer that is said with an honest, pure heart is pleasing to God. So make this day a day of prayer, praying often during the course of the day in reparation for the innocent blood that has been shed. However, I would, say, I would suggest uh, Three prayers. First would be to pray the Holy Rosary. Because when you say, bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, you're praising and thanking God for Mary who said yes to life. Yes to life. To have Jesus who is the way, the truth, and, and the life. To show us the way to the Father. To show us the way to heaven. And the second prayer I suggest would be the Chaplet of Divine Mercy, in which we pray that short but powerful prayer, Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly, dearly beloved Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. Pray the chaplet today. Could be at 3 o'clock, but it could be at any time whatsoever. And finally, the most powerful prayer. In about an hour, I'm going to be saying this prayer. And I'm going to be offering this prayer in reparation for all the abortions of the world from the beginning of time until the end especially in the United States since Roe versus Wade, 1973. That prayer that I'm referring to is the holy sacrifice of the Mass. I invite all of you to go to Mass today, wherever you are, wherever you might be. Set aside a half hour to go to the holy sacrifice of the Mass, to participate fully, actively, consciously in the most sublime prayer 
we have in the whole universe. Think about this, but when I, when I celebrate the Mass, I lift up the chalice, I lift up the paten, and I say, through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. I'm lifting up the chalice, which is the heart of Christ. I'm lifting up the chalice, which is truly the, the body, the blood, the soul, the divinity of Jesus Christ. I'm lifting it up to God the Father, and I'm begging, I'm imploring mercy and forgiveness and conversion for this horrendous sin that is present in the United States and spreading throughout the whole world. But we're offering the greatest prayer because abortion is shedding innocent blood. What is the mass? It's the offering of the victim and his precious blood that he offers to God the Father in reparation for our sins and the sins of the whole world. And that includes, of course, the sins of the many babies who have been slaughtered, mass massacred, innocently, even before they had the opportunity to say, Mama, Papa. So those are three prayers that I invite you to, to, uh, to do today. Now, with respect to penance, you can choose some type of fasting. Maybe give up something at the table that you like. Maybe give up watching a TV program. Maybe give up gossiping. Maybe give up something you like. And this is not masochism, but you're, you're purposely giving up something you like, making a sacrifice for the most noble of purposes. And the purpose of this is for human life, that you might defend human life, that you might be the instrument to save human life. My friends in Christ, my friends in Jesus and Mary, the little child cannot speak for himself. The silent scream. He cannot speak for himself. You have to be the voice of the innocent child. You have to defend that innocent child. So this is my message today. Prayer and penance. The rosary, the chapel of divine mercy, the holy sacrifice of the mass, and some type of penance that you can choose. Never forget the words of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He said this, some devils, some devils in our midst, in our family, in the church, in the society, in the country, in the world at large, some devils can only be cast out by prayer and fasting. So today I'd like to end by saying a Hail Mary with all of you. And I invite all of you to really pray a very fervent Hail Mary. And we're going to offer this Hail Mary, which we say, Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. We're going to be offering this Hail Mary in reparation for all of the abortions that have been perpetrated from the beginning of time, but also... We're going to be saying this Hail Mary that abortions will be prevented. So our Hail Mary is going to encapsulate past, present, and future. And we're going to place this in the hands of Mary and place this in the hands of the little child Jesus who's lifting up his heart for us, as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. 
St. John of Beretta, pray for us. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.